Carbon fiber has been selected as the main material for the Easton hockey stick because of its strength, lightweight, and ability to flex. Carbon fiber sheets are made by fusing carbon fibers together with plastic resin. The resin works to hold the fibers together. Sheets are cut in diagonals and stuck together so that the fibers overlap, increasing the overall strength of the material. The sheets are stuck together using a traditional household iron which melts the plastic resin inside the material and presses the two sheets together. After this, the sheets go through a hot roller to be permanently stuck together. After cooling, the machine cuts the sheets into strips the same length as the shaft. These strips are cut so that the fibers run in all directions in order to increase the overall strength of the final shaft. Next, a technician wraps the composite around a mold and the composite is pressed into the shaft by the circular amateur pictured. To make the stick with the hollow shaft, 20 sheets are successively wrapped tightly around the mold. It is important to make sure that no air is allowed to enter between the layers of the carbon fiber sheets as that will compromise the strength and structural integrity of the shaft, making it more likely to snap and fail to perform at a high standard. Following the layering of carbon fiber, workers place the shafts inside compression tubes which are heated to 300 degrees. These high temperature compression chambers melt all of the layers of carbon fiber together around the mold. To ensure that the layers are tightly stuck together, a rubber bladder within the compression chamber inflates, resulting in even more pressure being applied to the stick as the carbon fiber sheets melt and combine into one solid shaft piece. After being removed from the compression tubes as whole stick shafts, a machine is used to test the flexibility of the sticks. It is important for sticks to be able to handle a lot of stress due to the nature of how they are used in hockey. Players often press their whole body weight onto the stick and high impact stresses occur while a player is shooting. The flexibility of the stick is important as more flexible sticks can produce more torque and result in more powerful shots. The outer surfaces of the blades of the shaft are cut from the same carbon fiber sheets as were used on the shafts of the sticks. The outlining of this cut is made by a machine and the cutouts are removed by a human worker. The strong polymer sheets are needed to protect the interior of the blade, which is made up of a small bladder between two pieces of foam. The soft foam works to cushion the impact of the puck hitting the blade and also increases the speed of the puck when the player shoots the puck back. Workers wrap 35 layers of the carbon fiber sheets around the blade to ensure that the blade can withstand all the force absorbed by shooting the puck. To bind all of the layers together, the blade is put under 8 tons of pressure inside of a heated mold. Once again, a rubber bladder inside the mold fills up to increase the pressure put onto the carbon fibers. Once the carbon fiber sheets have been pressed together, workers remove the blades from the molds and attach the blades to the shafts using a strong adhesive. Random sticks are chosen to get tested in a slap shot machine. The stick must be able to shoot 200 shots at 75 miles per hour to pass. If a stick fails, the entire batch is thrown out. If the sticks pass, they are painted and company decals are placed on them. To finish the manufacturing process, a machine covers the stick with a clear coating that protects the interior of the stick and provides it with a tacky texture to improve the grip of the shaft. This is the final product. The manufacturing process takes about two hours. The stick manufactured is an Easton stick. This style of hockey stick, composite carbon fiber, makes up the majority of sticks on the market today. Though Easton sticks can be bought from many third-party sites, many similar style composite-based hockey sticks may be purchased at Bauer's website.